In today's video, I continue working on the 61 Dodge Dart Phoenix. Hello everybody, my name is Patrick and this is Dad Life Projects. Today, I'm going to keep working on the uh, 61 Dodge Dart. By, uh, I'm going to start cleaning it all up. I'm going to start, I'm going to take the seats out, vacuum everything, and pressure wash everything. I'm also going to probably take, take the uh, air conditioning system out since I am going to sell it. So, get that ready to be sold. And uh, anything else that I'm not going to use for right now. So, let's get to work. Alright, I got everything I need right here. Got my pressure washer, my uh, vacuum, my toolbox, extension cord. First thing I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to go ahead and remove the front seat. Alright, looks like I have uh, four uh, 9 16 bolts underneath two on each side let's go see if I can get these off down yep nice. let's get to the other side perfect now I have all these seat belts. Let me see if I can get those through the back here. With these, I have to actually have a backup on them. So, let's do this. Well, I couldn't reach. So I had to get my wife to do the impact. Let me put my wrench on it and we'll get it done. All right, Janet. Keep going. There it is. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to take the seat out. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out my back seat, which is should be as hard as the first seat, as the front seat. Yeah, so this is already. side has huh that's that's odd only one side has a uh, seat belt Thank you. 
next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start cleaning up this floor. I'm going to get all the big stuff to put it in here. Then I'll break up the back end. Final thing I'm going to do on the inside of the car is I'm going to take down this air conditioning unit. Okay, let's see. Actually, let's try it this way. Next thing is I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking out uh, the stuff for the um, the air conditioner. I got the condenser here. I'm gonna take that out. On the other side, it has the uh, the transmission cooler. I'm not gonna use any of this. This stuff is really old and pretty bad. Looks pretty bad. So I'm just gonna cut the, the lines. There's one. I guess I don't have to worry about that. It broke off. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah. All right. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh yeah, this whole thing is just pieces. Oh. Yeah, this thing's junk. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is take off the, uh, I don't know if this is the oil, oiler, or dryer. I can't, I can't remember. I'm going to take it off. Oh, let me get a battery. Yeah, I think my windshield washer bag is done too. I think I can take that off. And I get another one. Alright, that's 
All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some degreaser. And here on the engine bay, I'm gonna let it sit for a while, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it sit while I clean out the outside of the car with the pressure washer. So let's get spraying. I just wanted to show everybody how bad this car got sitting in my driveway. I did half the hood there, and you can see just, if you couldn't tell by when I was washing it because of the camera angles or whatever, but yeah, it got really bad. I think what I'm gonna do now is after I get it done and it dries, I'll probably take off the, the hood hinges, put the hood back on, and then put a car cover on it so it doesn't get any worse, the body. But I just wanted to show that to you. I just did want to do a walk around real quick. I got it pretty good. Like I said, I do plan on putting a car cover on it. Looks a lot better than it did. I already showed you the inside, how clean I got that. But uh, here's the, uh, the engine bay. It's gonna take a few more degreasings, I'm pretty sure, to get it up to par. Snuff. But uh, it got some, it got some off there, so I'll just have to keep working at it. So, and the rest of the hood there, cleaned it all up. All right. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Remember, every Saturday morning I have a new video. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Dad Life Projects, or email me at dadlifeprojects at gmail.com. Also, I have the air conditioning, air conditioning parts and my transmission still for sale. You can reach me at, at uh, either my Gmail or my Instagram or Facebook. And since you're here, why don't you go ahead, check out these two videos, and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember, any project you do, you are the project manager. Thank you.